Ever wondered why some people seem to effortlessly accumulate wealth while others struggle? What's their secret? Stick around as we debunk common wealth myths, reveal the roadmap to financial success. Wealth is a birthright, or only the rich get richer. Sound familiar? These are common that hold many back from financial success. These have been woven into the fabric of our society and they often cloud our understanding of wealth creation. But today, we're here to debunk these myths and shine a light on the truth. First on the docket is the belief that wealth is a birthright. This myth tells us that only those born into money have had the capacity to accumulate wealth. But the reality? Wealth is not simply handed down from generation to generation. While it's true that some individuals do inherit wealth, many of the world's wealthiest individuals are self-made. This means they started from scratch, worked and built their wealth over time. Then there's the notion that only the rich get richer. This myth implies that wealth club, an exclusive privilege for those who already have money. However, this is far from the truth. Wealth accumulation is about smart money management, savvy investing, investing in self, and consistent financial discipline. It's not reserved for the elite, it's accessible to anyone willing to and commit to good financial habits. These myths, while seemingly harmless, can, can be incredibly damaging. They instill a sense of hopelessness and helplessness, making seem unattainable. These falsehoods create a mental barrier, stopping many from even attempting to build wealth. They feed into a narrative of financial stagnation when in reality, financial growth is within everyone's reach. The truth is, wealth is not a birthright, nor is it exclusive to the rich. Wealth is a result of careful planning, strategic investing, and consistent effort. It's about making informed financial decisions, managing your money well, and staying committed to your financial goals. Now that we've debunked some wealth myths, are you ready to the necessary steps towards financial freedom? As we move forward, remember wealth is not about money you're born with, but the financial habits you cultivate, the knowledge you acquire, and the steps you're willing to take. Let's keep the momentum going and continue on our journey to financial enlightenment, but how exactly can you cultivate these financial habits? Stay tuned to find out. Wealth isn't just about the money in your bank account, it's about understanding how to grow and protect it. This line isn't just a catchy phrase, it's an essential truth that underpins the concept of wealth. So, what really is wealth? It's not just a number on your bank statement, no, wealth is a much broader concept, a combination of the tangible and intangible, the financial and the non-financial. It's about having the financial resources to support your lifestyle, yes, but it's also about having the knowledge to manage those resources effectively. Think of wealth as a tree. Your financial assets, like money or property, are the leaves and branches. They're the most visible parts of the tree, the ones that people often focus on. But beneath the surface, there's a whole network of roots that support the tree and enable it to grow. These roots represent your financial knowledge and skills, your understanding of how to budget, how to invest, how to leverage credit and so on. Without strong, healthy roots, a tree can't thrive. It might look fine on the surface for a while, but eventually it will start to wither. The same is true for wealth. Without a solid foundation of financial education, your wealth may be vulnerable. It might even start to dwindle over time. That's why financial education is such a crucial component of wealth. It gives you the tools you need to grow and protect your wealth over the long term. It helps you understand how to make your money work for you rather than you working for your money. And that's really what wealth is all about. About having the freedom to live the life you want without constantly worrying about money. It's about being able to provide for your loved ones and to contribute to causes that you care about. It's about creating a legacy that can benefit future generations. So if you want to build wealth, start by building your financial knowledge. Learn about budgeting, investing and credit. Understand how these things work and how you can use them to your advantage. As we see, understanding wealth is the first step towards financial freedom. Let's now look at some actionable steps. But what are these actionable steps? Keep watching to discover. Budgeting is not a restriction on your spending. It's a plan for how you want to spend your money. Think of budgeting as a roadmap. It's a tool that helps you navigate your financial journey, guiding you from where you are now to where you want to be. The beauty of budgeting is that it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a customized plan tailored to your income, expenses, and financial goals. Let's break it down. Creating a budget starts with listing all your sources of income. 
This could be your salary, any self-employment earnings, or income from investments. Next, you need to identify your fixed expenses. These are costs that don't change much month to month like rent or mortgage payments, utilities, and insurance. Once you've got your fixed expenses down, it's time to track your variable expenses. These are costs that fluctuate such as groceries, dining out, entertainment, and personal care. The trick here is to be honest with yourself. If you're spending $50 a week on coffee, jot it down. Now subtract your total expenses from your income. If you're left with a surplus, that's great. You can allocate this money towards savings or investments. If you're left with a deficit, don't panic. This is where your budget can really come into play. Look at your variable expenses and see where you can make adjustments. Remember, a budget is a living document. It's meant to be revisited and revised as your financial situation changes. It might take a few months to get it just right, but the key is persistence. Sticking to a budget has numerous benefits. It can help you build an emergency fund, save for a vacation, pay off debt, or even invest in your future. Budgeting also brings a sense of financial security. Knowing where your money is going gives you control and peace of mind. Budgeting is the first step to taking control of your finances. But what's next? Stick around there's plenty more to learn on this journey to debunk wealth myths and create your own financial success story. But what's the next step after budgeting? Stick around to learn more. Investing isn't a game for the rich, it's a strategy for anyone who wants to grow their wealth. Let's dive into this scene by unveiling the true nature of investing. Often shrouded in confusion and intimidation, investing is simply the act of allocating resources with the expectation of generating an income or profit. In simpler terms, it's about making your money work for you. Investing can take forms, from buying stocks and bonds to investing in real estate or starting your own business. Each of these avenues has the potential to yield returns, but they also come with their own set of risks. It's important to understand these risks and to diversify your investments to mitigate them. So how do you start investing? It might seem like a mammoth task, but it really starts with a simple step. Start by setting clear financial goals. Are you saving for a down payment on a house? Planning for retirement? Or maybe you're looking to grow your emergency fund? Your goals will guide your investment choices. The next step is to educate yourself. There's a wealth of information out there, books, podcasts, online courses that can help you understand the basics of investing. It's also worth considering seeking advice from a financial advisor. They can provide personalized guidance based on your financial situation and goals. Once you're armed with knowledge and a clear goal, it's time to start investing. You can start small. Even a few dollars invested wisely can grow over time thanks to the magic of compound interest. But remember, investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires patience discipline. It involves monitoring your investments and making adjustments as needed. It's a long-term strategy for wealth growth. Investing is a powerful tool for wealth growth, but remember, it's not the only one. As we continue this series, we'll explore more strategies that can help you take control of your financial future. But what's the other powerful tool for wealth growth? Don't go anywhere, we're about to reveal it. Stay tuned. Credit isn't your enemy, it's a tool that, when used wisely, can help you achieve your financial goals. Now let's delve into the role of credit in personal finance. Credit, in its simplest form, is borrowed money that you can use to purchase goods and services when you need them. You can think of it as a financial trust that institutions extend to you based on your promise to pay them back. But here's the catch, you must use credit wisely. This means paying your bills on time, not out your credit cards, and keeping your debt levels manageable. These are not just good habits, they directly affect credit score, which in turn impacts your ability to secure loans and mortgages. Avoid the common pitfall of seeing credit as free money. It's not. Borrowed money that comes with interest. Remember, credit is a tool, not a crutch. Credit, when managed properly, can a stepping stone to financial success. Are you ready to take the leap? But how can you start your journey towards financial freedom? The answer is coming up next. We've debunked myths, understood wealth, and discussed actionable steps. Now it's time to act. Remember, wealth is not a birthright, nor is it exclusive to the rich. It's a result of smart financial decisions, consistent actions, and resilience. We've explored the importance of budgeting, the power of investing, and the utility of leveraging credit. These are not just concepts, they are tools for you to use in your journey towards financial freedom. You can start today.
Regardless of your current financial standing, with determination and persistence you can turn the tide, break free from the shackles of wealth myths, and create a prosperous future. This video was a stepping stone, a spark to ignite your financial revolution. But the journey doesn't end here. As you apply these principles and witness your progress, share your stories with us. Financial freedom is within your reach. Start your journey today, and let's debunk wealth myths together. Share your progress with us using hash debunking wealth myths.